monstrous hurricanes Helene and Milton caused so much complex havoc that damages are still being added up, but government and private experts say they will likely join the infamous ranks of Katrina, Sandy and Harvey as super costly $50 billion plus killers. Making that even more painful is that most of the damage 95% or more in Helene's case was not insured, putting victims in a deeper financial hole. Storm deaths have been dropping over time, although Helene was an exception. But even adjusted for inflation, damages from intense storms are skyrocketing because people are building in harm's way, rebuilding costs are rising faster than inflation, and human-caused climate change are making storms stronger and wetter, experts in different fields said. Today's storms, today's events are simply vastly different from yesterday's events. One of the things that we're seeing is the energy content that these systems can retain is significantly greater than it used to be, said John Dixon, president of Aon Edge Insurance Agency, which specializes in flood coverage. In the last 45 years, and adjusted for inflation, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration has counted 396 weather disasters that caused at least $1 billion in damage. 63 of those were hurricanes or tropical storms. The $50 billion mark for direct losses is a threshold that differentiates truly historic events, said Adam Smith, the economist and meteorologist who runs the list out of NOAA's National Center for Environmental Information in Helene Hit Asheville, North Carolina. Only eight hurricanes reached that threshold. Smith said he thought Milton and Helene have a very good shot of joining that list. When we start to get $50 billion or higher in total direct losses, included insured and uninsured losses, um, I think that's what that, that's an arbitrary threshold that really seems to differentiate truly historic events within the hundreds and hundreds of billion dollars of di disasters that we have uh, cataloged over the decades. So, so 50 billion and up. And I think that um, Helene and Milton will likely approach, if not exceed, that threshold. I've told people um, the impacts from Helene are really like Western North Carolina's Katrina or Sandy. That's how impactful it has been um, to people, to infrastructure, to business, to tourism, to the economy, to loss of life and livelihood. Um, it's, it's been devastating and it will take years to recover. Uh, the, the areas of the country that were most impacted by Helene, by most measures, far less than 5% of the citizens impacted carried flood insurance. And so what we're seeing time and again, uh, people are making decisions based on outdated information. Today's storms, today's events are, are simply vastly different from, from yesterday's events. One of the things that we're seeing is the energy content that these systems can retain is significantly greater than it used to be. And the ability for these systems to sustain that energy is, is vastly different.
these types of tropical systems are rapidly intensifying in the Gulf because of the very, very warm Gulf that is directly related to climate change. And with increasing climate changes and heating, we're going to see more and more intensification of these types of storms. And we're not really prepared for that rapid intensification. The economic losses are going up because we're putting more infrastructure uh, and housing in harm's way. The pattern of human losses um, and deaths are going down because people are a little bit more vigilant about paying attention to preparedness and getting out of harm's way and undertaking evacuations when they see there's a category five storm coming their way.